All right, this is one of my favorite bets of the week. Chargers minus three over the Raiders. Early in the week, I thought I'd take the Raiders. But two takeaways. The Raiders have twice trailed by 14 points. Uh, the Raiders have gotten their two toughest games at home. Uh, the Raiders still are inconsistent running the ball. Uh, Justin Herbert's arc, we know what the Raiders are. Derek Carr has been in this league a long time, and they've got a lot of weapons. There's going to be a lot of points in this game, and this is why I'm comfortable giving up three. But when you watch the Chargers play, you're seeing growth. That's the first big road win for Justin Herbert. Um, and it's a divisional game, so I don't, I don't think this organization is going to come out flat at home. I think, you know, you, you play these divisional games when you win them, you're playing these teams. He's already beaten Patrick Mahomes once. Now he beats him a second time. So I, I don't think Justin Herbert is going to come down to earth. What I think the Chargers are is they're going to be a very quickly ascending team and one of the few really good teams that will make a jump over the course of a year because many of their key components, finally a healthy Derwin James, second year Herbert, Rashawn Slater, a lot of their best important pieces are kids. So most great teams players are veterans. I think the Chargers come out, could lay it on the Raiders, I think it's a high-scoring game with a lot of weapons. I have no problem swallowing three. I think it's a 33-27 game. That's my take, uh, sharp or square. So the sharp side is the Chargers minus three. I'm really glad you said that. I was afraid you were going to go with the Raiders. Um, and I think at three and a half, there are some wise guys who were taking the Raiders just because a divisional game, you want to get the hook. But most guys I talk to, they just like the Chargers at three or three and a half. It's a better team, and it is yes. a more well-rounded team. It is what, what Brandon Staley is doing with that defense is really interesting, and the way they've been able to shut people down um, has really gotten the attention of a lot of professional betters. You mentioned, you mentioned Patrick Sertain. Asante Samuel has gone from 40-1 to 1 as Rookie of the Year <laughs> to 10-1 to 1 as yeah. Rookie of the Year. He is a guy who is patrolling that backfield and is ball hawking. And what Derek Carr is doing this year, instead of sort of being the king of the check down, he is going deep, right? He's going to Henry Ruggs. He's going to Derek Waller. But this is a team that has been playing by the seat of their pants, barely beating Miami, barely beating Baltimore. They need every minute of every game and they need every single thing to go their way. And the Chargers are just a better team and they're becoming... A, the kind of team that is understanding the cost of their mistakes. Last week, they got away with a couple. I think they continue to learn. I think they take that leap. I think they progress. I think the wise guys agree with you. Chargers minus three. 